Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Project Alpha 75 Milano. Today we are working here on the timing chain. This is a very special episode, not only because it's the last, uh, second to last one. Um, it is because this timing chain here, despite, it, despite being a very old style timing chain, um, the principles of working of this timing chain are still being used today in many uh, fundamental ways. For example, here on the My Alpha 156, on the 140 multi-jet engine, um, it uses a similar principle for the adjusting of the, the timing belt, but we get there in a few months. Uh, right now we are doing here a comprehensive tutorial of, of how and why to change, not change the, uh, yes, you can call it that, change your timing chain on your Alpha Bialbero engine. First things first, uh, now you have to have a diagram of some sort to, to see, uh, to understand uh, if your engine has any marks that you can um, put your engine on top and that center, on the first cylinder, and when you do that, what precautions do you have to take? But let's start by, by the first things first. Firstly, you have to put your, your crankshaft on TDC, and when it, when it is on TDC, you have those marks here that correspond, let me actually take this out, correspond here to this center mark. On here, it is the same. You have that tiny mark over there, and there a mark. Now, that seems very easy, but it, it, in fact it is not, because as you are tightening your chain by your spring and the sprocket, you actually are rotating this camshaft. And Alpha thought of that uh, in many, many models, actually. And they have this uh, spinning sprocket right here and in here as well. As you can see, it's very easy. So you can adjust your chain without rotating your camshafts. It is very interesting. Now, the, the, tine, uh, the tuning of this sprocket is not very uh, accurate, but it's better than nothing. Now, you may see this is very familiar for you on the Twin Spark engines, the modern 156, 147, on all engine capacities. Uh, if in, on the Twin Spark engine, not this engine, the, the modern Twin Spark engine of, of those cars, uh, if you don't respect the tools for the timing, to block the, the, the camshafts uh, and, the, and if you rely only on marks that you do on the sprockets, on the belts and whatever when you, you are tightening the belt these camshafts here rotate and they actually move very a lot, a lot really and um, then you have uh, low power um, the engine does not want to work, the idle is bad uh, it misfires a lot of uh, issues and fault codes. You change everything and the car is the same. You think these cars suck. No, they don't. Actually, what happens is the timing chain or the timing belt is not correct. Um, and remember one thing. If you are doing a timing chain or belt, maybe your engine was not on point when you, when you first started the job. Firstly, is to rotate your engine to TDC. You have that spike on the water pump, and you want to match the scratch on the pulley, the crank pulley, a little bit more, with a spike. Now, on some engines, you do have um, a dial here on the, the first cylinder to actually see where is the actual top dead center. Uh, I don't have that dial. I'm only working here with the with that scratch and the point on the water pump. I think is enough. If it, if if it's not, I'll correct it. But for now, let's do it this way. Now, what happens when you forget to put your chain when you are, you are assembling your head, the engine head? <laughs> you had to fish it with a wire. Oh, it was a struggle, but it works. Okay. Now, what do you, do you want to do? The chain is complete, it's locked, it's closed, and you want to, you can do this like this. 
because your sprockets are loose, you can do it like this. In order to tighten the camshafts, it must be on the closest position of the engine uh, point, on the engine marks. Because if you don't do that, if you if tighten the camshafts as is, you run the risk of hitting a valve on the, some piston. And also on this half in particular, you run the risk of overlapping your valves and damaging your valves. Now, as you are tightening, working these nuts or bolts, you don't want to tighten everything at once. Just go slowly back and forth. In there I don't have enough pressure yet to screw on the nuts. It's a horrible day for wearing gloves. It's too moist. Okay, as soon as possible I have to put here the the washers and nuts. Washer nut. Don't forget this these washers are spring washers. They are crooken. There is to be expected. Do not use any other uh, any other stuff for this one. Just enough. We are almost there. Just tighten here a little bit more by hand. Pay attention to the the threads on the nuts. I have there a, a nut that was not the specified thread. It's okay now. It was that one. Um, right away I will give you the, the torque specs for tightening this. Okay, it's all by hand. It's all okay. Excellent. Now, what do you want to do next? Uh, no, you don't want to right away put your engine to full, um, to match the points or the marks of the engine. Firstly, what you want to do is to stretch the chain. And you want to stretch it with this spring over here. And this is very difficult to do with a plug, with a new washer. A very difficult to find new washer. And uh, let's try it like this. Don't forget, the, the sprockets are loose. So we, we can adjust our matches, the points, whenever we want. I will try not to damage this, because this, it is, this is all aluminium or aluminum. Okay, it's in. So now the chain is very stretched indeed. I'm sure the, the, the spring has some, uh, you, you have to measure the tension of the spring, but uh, I don't have anything to, to measure that. I will trust on this very, very stiff spring. And uh, next step, now we can match the points of the, the, the camshafts. Now, as you can see, the chain is completely tightened, stretched. Uh, I understand this is very can be very scary for you guys, some of you guys, of course, because I have everything um, so loose. How can I be sure the engine can be the match uh, can can match the points of reference? Don't forget, uh, this is the easiest way to do a timing chain or a timing belt. In this way, if you understand the principles of work of this system. Um, this system is not uh, only used by Fiat Group or, or uh, whatever. A lot of brands, uh, Volkswagen Group, uh, Ford, a lot of brands use this system in order to, to do a, a perfect timing on, the, on their engines. So in this way, imagine this. Your uh, crankshaft is not exactly where you want it. You have the dial, it is not exactly where you want it. As you have these sprockets loose, you can actually 
rotate your crankshaft. Let me just can rotate it to whatever you want. Look, the camshafts do not move. And once you are happy with the, the, the position of the crankshaft and on the in the camshafts, on the camshafts here, you have on this one you don't have anything to grab to, but with a big plier, with a good plier in the place where the, it doesn't uh, matter anyway, you can rotate the crankshaft to the position over here to match the signal, the, the points over there and over there. And now you can tight this one and tight this one and magic, it's done. It's so easy, it's so much easier like this. Just a quick tip here, Be, uh, after you turn the engine three or four times, you match again the, cam the crankshaft and you see if the camshafts are okay. If they're not, you only have to lose this nut here, lose this one here and realign the camshafts again. This is very important on the, on the twin spark engines, the, the, the engines that I talked about earlier. That is the main difficulty on those, those engines. People do use the blocks for the cams, but after they rotate the engine, they, no, they no, do not check if the locks are uh, fitting right. And usually they not, they don't uh, fit right. You have to make sure to reorganize the, the camshafts and tightening uh, whatever it may be, the, 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 the engine, and uh, make sure the engine, whatever the number of turns you turn the engine, the engine is always, always, always on point. There it is, almost done. Now, the next episode may be the last of this series. Obviously, I will continue to do some videos for this Alpha 75 or Milano. Send me your questions, your uh, interests. Uh, and also, I, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you can share with your friends and consider subscribe. And don't, don't forget, Alpha Romeo, no problem.